Let me show you how to add a light beam to an image using only the masking tools in Lightroom. I've already applied a few initial adjustments to the original image, which was a little overexposed. If we check the Lightroom before and after view, you can see the effects of these changes. The next step before adding the light beam is to reduce the image exposure to darken the scene. Do this by dragging the exposure slider to the left. Don't worry that this is making the image appear too dark, it will make the light beam easier to see as we work. We now need to add a mask to the image. We'll use this to create a beam of light coming from the window top right of frame. First click the masking icon and then select the radial gradient. Now click and drag on the image to draw the gradient. We can then rotate this and drag it into position so that it looks like a beam of light through the window. Don't worry about making it look perfect at this stage, just focus on getting the general direction and size correct. After that, increase the mask's exposure slider to produce the effect of light. Don't worry that it doesn't look too much like a light beam yet. Just spend a couple of minutes trying to refine the position of the radial gradient. Also try changing the feather slider on the gradient as that can often improve the effect. One of the reasons this doesn't look like a light beam yet though is because it's got soft edges near to the window. We can fix this by clicking the subtract button and choosing the linear gradient option. I can then click and drag with the mouse to add the gradient. Now because I click the subtract button, the new gradient is removing part of the radial gradient to give the light an edge. Now let's repeat that but on the other side. As before, click the subtract button and then choose the linear gradient option. Then click and drag on the image using your mouse to add the linear gradient. Now because these are separate selections that combine to produce a mask, we can continue to refine each of them until we get the effect looking right. Now, I can still see a bright area at the top right of the window, so let's remove that using the brush tool. Again, click the subtract button, but this time choose the brush tool in the options. Take a moment to check the brush settings before you begin painting. We want to use a brush with a slightly soft edge to it and a flow of around 50. Also make sure that the auto mask option is turned off. Now, paint over the area to remove the unwanted light. Once the light beam is correctly in position, we can refine our adjustments. With this image, let's try reducing the contrast in the light using the contrast slider. Then we can also try reducing texture, clarity and dehaze to lighten the area slightly and create a soft glow effect. If you find the strength of the overall effect isn't quite right, try using the amount slider on the mask to reduce or increase it. When the light beam is looking about right, we can go back to the global controls in Lightroom to refine their adjustment. Now, there is a problem that I want to highlight with this image that's quite common. If you look at the light falling on the wall, it's turned pink. This is caused by my reducing the global exposure adjustment. The way that I'll fix it is to add a new mask and then use the brush tool to select the area. This time I want the brush tool to have a hard edge and be at full flow. I'm also going to use the auto mask option to create an accurate selection. Let's also magnify the area to 100% so that we can see what we're doing. The next step is to enlarge the brush so that it covers the problem area. Then when I click once, it selects the area with the auto mask option doing all the hard work. If you don't get all the area with the first click, don't worry. Just reposition the brush so the center is over a bright patch and then click again. After making the selection, increase the brightness slider. Now, let's move to the top right of the frame because we can see the same problem there with the windows. We can easily add these to our selection by clicking again with the brush tool. After that, you might want to consider switching the image to black and white. In the past, I've used a similar technique in Lightroom to create dark sky images, which is what I demonstrate in this video. It's well worth watching next. Thanks for watching today and I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.